All of us know that members of Congress are cheating. It's been confirmed to me by somebody in Congress, and we're going to go over that. But they say math doesn't lie. And when we lay everything out, you're going to see how much money these turds in Washington, D.C. are making off of inside information. I have with me today my friend Ross Givens. Ross, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, always a pleasure, Stephen. So uh, you sent me, you text me a link uh, to uh, a, uh, a CBS interview with yeah. Representative George Santos from New York. And Santos is the uh, New York congressman who was using money for like beauty stuff, only fans, vacation campaign money. Yeah, yes, yeah, campaign money. And now he's he's being booted out. He's I think the like the fourth person in congressional history since the Civil War to be kicked out. So obviously he's not happy that his former colleagues get to cheat and lie and be dishonest with the American people. Uh, and so during that interview, he starts like laying all the chips on the table, right? <laughs> yeah, but he, he flat out confirmed, you know, what we've been talking about for the last several months. He is blowing the lid off the whole thing. And I like to think if you want to think of Congress kind of like the mob, uh, Santos is the rat that's snitching on all his friends, right? So now we have someone who's been on the inside finally sharing all the secrets these politicians and how they make their money and i'm sure you saw he already filed an ethics complaint against congresswoman uh nicole maliotakis for stock trades and and in that interview he called her nicole malio stock tips but uh what he was talking about is a trade she made on march 17 last year she bought this new york uh, community bank stock it's like six bucks a share the very next day the bank announced this huge news they're taking over all these Bank branches, this bank that went under in that crisis, they got like thirty-eight billion in deposits for pennies on the dollar, and this stock went up forty percent the next day and doubled over the next few months. And Stephen, this kind of thing happens all the time. Wow, uh, forty percent overnight. She's either the luckiest person in the world, or yeah. she maybe sits <laughs> on a committee. That uh, gives her some information, yeah, uh, you know, and and I have uh, off the record, not not that I can't share this, but off the record, I had a House of Representatives person. I'll talk about this. Uh, confirm to me that yes, one hundred percent, he knows that these people are are, are cheating. But um, before we go into that, um, I know you guys have a, a free training coming up where you're going to show people how uh, bank executives. Uh, corporate, you know, Fortune 500 CEOs and members of Congress, how they trade and the different systems that you guys use in order to track that. When when is that happening so that I can let my community know? Yeah, so it's, it's actually a good time with this interview because it's coming up this Wednesday to January 31st at 3 Eastern. It is completely free. And like you said, I'm going to show it's, it's one thing to get outraged by what they're doing and they're cheating. Our goal, and I've been doing this for six and a half years, is to kind of level the playing field and show people that you can actually track when they're making these trades. You can see it in real time. You can simply uh, follow along. So that's what we do in these training sessions, about an hour long. It's online. Like I said, it's totally free. And and you'll see uh, how to put this information to use for your yeah. own benefit. Yeah. No, I, I and I've seen it. I've seen it uh, working in real time. I mean, obviously, the... The person who gets the 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 bad rap is how former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and that's because hmm. she suddenly became worth almost 150 million dollars while being in public office as a public right. servant. Meanwhile, the public that she's been serving has been getting poorer and poorer and poorer. Homelessness is out of control. Hunger is out of control. Drug use is out of control, and and it's not just in her district; it, it's everywhere. But um, is is this still going on? Is is Nancy Pelosi, since she hasn't retired, is she still in the game? She is still the patron saint of insider trading. She's up to the same tricks. Uh, I'll give you some numbers. I'm a numbers guy, obviously, but you know, last year the stock market did great. It was up like twenty four and a half percent. One of the best years for stocks in decades. Pelosi on the other hand, smoked those numbers. Her stock trades made her a 65% return. So she did two and a half times better than the market. And 
I want to put that in perspective because some people aren't numbers folks. Take someone like Fidelity or the biggest financial houses out there. Their, their flagship fund, the Magellan Fund, run by a team of the best analysts in the business, veterans on Wall Street who spent their life studying the markets that have access to the best research money can buy. Okay. 2023, that fund run by all these, these, these Wall Street titans returned 31%, which is a phenomenal year. Still less than half what Nancy Pelosi did. So anyone who thinks Pelosi uh, is, is twice as good as Fidelity Investments needs to have their head examined. Yeah, so she's, she's outperforming Fidelity. She's outperforming Morgan Stanley, Charles Schwab. Like all, all the big names that everybody would know or have maybe have a company 401k with, she yeah. she did more than double all of them. All of them. Yeah. That uh, that's so sick to me because like how are the rest of us supposed to get ahead uh when the the very firms that we have can't even keep up with members of Congress? And uh, on top of that, some of these hedge funds do really, really well. And most of us don't even have the money to get into these hedge funds that have these brilliant Wharton Financial, Harvard Financial, oh, yeah. brilliant minds. And hedge funds can often be an abstract term, people who aren't in the markets. But but just to summarize, you know this, but hedge funds are essentially where the rich invest. They don't have the rules that mutual funds other stuff do. They can do futures contracts. They can leverage up 10 to 1. It's where the best of the best go. All you see, the, all these billionaires on Wall Street, they're all running hedge funds. Most of them, you can't even invest in unless you have at least a million dollars to put with them. So they are reserved for the billionaires, the ultra wealthy now, I sent you a graphic. If you want to put that up, this is the uh, 2023 annual return of the top hedge funds on Wall Street. Again, the absolute best of the best. And Nancy Pelosi beat every single one. I mean, there's names like Citadel on this list. Okay, Citadel is the most successful hedge fund of all time. They have 2,600 employees, 2,600 people trying to make money in the market. They manage $60 billion. And Nancy Pelosi at 82 years old by herself beat all of them by a multiple. It's, it's insanity. And it, she's allowed to keep, they continue to let this go on. Wow. That, I mean, when you put it into that level of perspective, it's like, it's mind blowing. Now, this is this is kind of weird. Um, I had Representative Tim Burchett on, real nice, humble guy. Um, he sits on the the UFO committee, right? Mm. And uh, when when we when we hung up, when our interview was over, I said, "Hey, do you got you got a couple of minutes?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "I, I don't want to talk about UFOs. I want to talk about this insider trading. Is this Pelosi Act to block members of Congress from using inside information going to pass?" He said, heavens no. Of course, they're never going to pass it. This is the goose that lays their golden <laughs> egg. And right. I said, so you're telling me that these people are using their committee privileged information in order to place money in the stock market? He said, 100%. He knows it for a fact. Yeah, and I can prove it to you further. Uh, you know, we talked about Pelosi's beat everyone on Wall Street. She's beat all the best of the best. There's only a handful of people who beat Pelosi last year. And you know who they were? Other politicians. So <laughs> if you bring up, I've got one last graphic to show you. Now, what you're looking at, these are the returns of, of just 10 members of Congress last year. Now, the data comes from the Unusual Wales website. And now that yellow bar at the very bottom, that's the S&P 500 index. So if you're just invested in the overall market, it's about what you did. And again, that was a fantastic year for the market. Well, Pelosi's two lines up, more than double that. But eight other congressmen did even better than her. You know, Blumenthal is a senator from New York. Guess what he was doing? He was buying up defense stocks the same day Russia invaded Ukraine. You know, Mark Green is chairman of the Committee of Homeland Security. You think he might have access to some information that might move some things in the market? And, and, and look, it's not one party. It's Republicans, it's Democrats, it's senators, it's members of the House, it's men, it's women. They all do it. Luckily for us, all you have to do is follow their trades. And that's why I do these, these events. But I, I'm glad I get to speak to you and your audience so people realize 
how massive this this the scale of this 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 corruption is. But but again, what we're going to do is completely legal. Now, what they do is legal as, as well. Is it ethical? Probably not, but it's legal. So yeah. the only way I think to even out the playing field is to show the everyday American how to see what stocks they're buying. They want, you know, access to privilege information. They would get an early fine. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. Okay. If they're going to cheat, the least you can do is know when they're doing it and, and buy the same stocks. Uh, other than, I mean, you said that this is legal, but maybe not like morally ethical, but um, you know, people's lives are on the line. These people are investing into defense contracts, knowing they're going to strike millions of dollars. Meanwhile, people in Ukraine and other parts of the world, they're literally fighting for their lives. And, yeah. and these guys, no wonder they don't want this war to end. No wonder they want another $60 billion, as Mitch McConnell said, not to go to Ukraine, but to go back to the military companies in America. And that's what a lot of people miss. They go, "Oh, we sent a hundred billion to Ukraine." It's, it's not like we we you know FedEx them a check for a hundred billion dollars. This money goes to U.S. defense firms, to aerospace firms, to, to 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 Boeing and these other and these other defense contractors to buy the equipment to send to there. Do you think we're getting discount prices? You don't think we're paying well above retail? You don't think some guys making twenty million dollars to transport this stuff across the ocean? You know, it's it's. I forget what politician said it, but he said foreign aid is when you take the people's money from a rich country. Something like you you take the citizens' money from a rich country and give it to the oligarchs in a poor country. And that that's what's happening. The money is being transferred from you and me and and, and the average taxpayer to the wealthy, the elites, the 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 military industrial complex uh, in in both nations. So. If if someone can use uh, inside information to make a two hundred and thirty eight percent return, that that's like that that's like a decade's worth of earnings, never missing, never having a down year. I, wow. I mean, what what? How how can we do better with our money then? Well, we don't have access to the same information, right? There's, we don't know all the things they know. You were, I mean, unless you just have a really lucky year, you're not going to make 80, 100, 200% next year in the stock market unless you were trading on this inside information like Pelosi does, like these others do. So I've tried a lot. I've been in, I've been in the uh, investment world my entire career. I've, I've worked at JP Morgan. I've been an FA. I've run a man. I've done it all. And I'm telling you, this strategy has been the most consistent, the most profitable I've ever used. You know, we started doing this for our members in 2017. So we researched this stuff every single day. When we find opportunities where a lot of these corporate insiders or, or political insiders are buying a stock with their own money, totally out of nowhere, for the first time in five years, we go, maybe they know something. It's not guaranteed, but the odds are, are good they might know something. And so we alert people to that. Tell them when to buy, when to sell, and and look, we've never had a losing year doing this. I mean, you know, we've had years we've made over three hundred percent, not by any great insight of mine, simply by following these people when these opportunities arise. And so, you know, even twenty twenty two, the bear market, we made money. I think our our compound of return since twenty seventeen is like nineteen hundred percent. So it absolutely works. But but the only way I've seen to put up these kind of numbers is to either have access to this inside information, or follow the trades of the people that do. And that, the second, is really uh, what I've been doing for the better part of the last decade. Yeah. So uh, other than the politicians who have to wait like 45 days to yeah. <laughs> to report, and if they don't, they get fined like 100 bucks. who else are you guys following? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's political insiders, which is a great source. But really, corporate insiders, um, in my experience, have performed even better. And, you know, when you think about it, a politician knows big news, right? They'll know about a big government contract. They'll know about, um, you know, a big, big COVID testing grant or something like that. But, you know, when you take individual companies, you've got the CEO and the chief financial officer and board members and vice presidents. You know, the things they know, they know when they're about to report a big earnings number. They know their company is going to get bought out at a 60 percent premium. You know, they know when they have a, a big new product coming. Um and so when they're all buying at the same time their own stock, their own money completely out of nowhere, it often means they know something the general public does not. 
So is, is that the key indicator then that is they report that you see that and that's what tells you, okay, these guys are selling off like crazy or they're buying something's coming down the pike? Exactly. Yes. And so all we're doing is, is piggybacking their trades. So we don't usually follow the selling much. We're not getting into shorting stocks, not trying to play that game. We're just looking for big opportunities with, with fairly priced stocks that we believe could have a big news. So for example, maybe it's a pharmaceutical company that has several drugs being in drug trials right now. And they're about to report really good news. Well, news like that makes these stocks double, triple in a couple of days. And so you know, when you see these insiders buying their stock completely out of nowhere with no news, yeah, you know, and we've done this. We we've bought stocks, followed them, that have gone up like sixty percent the next day. And it could be anything. It could be environmental company getting a billion dollar government contract, a big earnings number. You know, but this kind of news, uh, when it becomes public, causes these stocks to make huge moves, often instantly, and so it can make you a lot of money. And this is the kind of information. These people have access to, and so, and so that that's why we follow them. Very simple. So you're basically just piggybacking on the trades that you see them publicly acknowledging that they've made with their own money. Exactly. And look, the the, the like you said, the politicians they have to report within like 45 days. So sometimes, like Pelosi loaded up on this in January, you don't find out till May. But these executives, these corporate folks, they have to report within two days, and usually they do it sooner. So like if they buy you know, $8 million worth of their stock on Monday, you know about it Tuesday morning. There's no lag time. So you can follow it in, in, in pretty much real time. And, you know, we've used this approach to pick stocks that have risen as much as 1900%. Uh, percent. And so I'm going to cover all that. I know we don't have time today, but we're going to go through the ins and outs of this in that training event on Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, like I said, it is the easiest, the most consistent way to make money in the market. It's what you're doing basically is getting free, completely legal stock tips from people inside the company. They are feeding you that information. And these are the people that have access to private, non-public uh, information, whether that's a politician or whether that's a corporate insider. And, and, and you know, we just uh, follow along and it's been very, very successful. Yeah, it's kind of like um, knowing what Warren Buffett has bought within a day. Versus, you know, waiting. Oh, he he just bought more, uh, you know, Exxon Mobil or or whatever. It's like he he has time to report that. Uh, but the, these guys, they they have to disclose that stuff. So okay, so it was um, Wednesday, January thirty first. At what time? Yep, three p.m. Eastern. Uh, it is online. It's completely free. All you got to do there should be a link below this video. I think you're putting in. If they just click that. We'll send them all the stuff. Uh, the only thing I should tell you is the software we use is called GoToWebinar, and it does cap out at 1,000 attendees. So we try to do these once a month or so, but almost every time they fill up, and once you get 1,000 people, it just caps off, and no one else can attend. So no one else can, can log in. So I just encourage people, go ahead and register. Uh, as a bonus, we're also going to send for all of your viewers all the research in our newest pick. And so you'll see the stock we're recommending right now that, Heavy insiders have been buying. Why they're why we think they're buying it? You know where to get in. Where we're likely going to get out. Um, you know we did one earlier this month, and the stock went up sixty percent in four days. You know, wow. so you don't you don't need a ton of wins like that. And and it's not as if I'm saying every time they buy the stock's going to double next week. That's that's not the case. But a lot of the times it will. And that's how these Pelosi's of the world make such big money. It's a couple of big opportunities. You know, she bought all these Nvidia. She bought all those call options on Google before the government announced they're turning or, or, or uh, a, a big deal to Google. They bought all the, the options on Tesla before the government fleet went electric. You know, there's time and time again, but by well timed investments, um, you can make a great deal of money very quickly. And so that's why we follow these people, and that's what we we show our, our uh, members how to do. Wow. Well. Showing their hand, like in poker, you get to see their hand, which is pretty neat. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see what uh, this George uh, Santos ethics uh, report does, but my my guess is nothing will come of it because mm -hmm. Wall Street uh, It's going to be in a file cabinet next week. Yeah, yeah, it'll be. In <laughs> uh, well, hey, thank you so much. I, I know you're busy. Thank you for coming on. I'll make sure to put that link down below, and and thanks for letting us know about uh, the stuff that the people in Congress are doing. Absolutely. And appreciate all you do, Stephen. Thanks.